Welcome back, friends, with another movie reaction. Today we are watching The Mitchells vs. The Machines. I've heard that this is a very well-loved movie. Don't know anything about it other than the art style from the thumbnail on Netflix. A lot of votes came for in for it on Patreon, so we're going to give it a go. As always, full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell, really helps with the channel, and let's get started. Whoa. Cool. Every family has its challenges. Ha. For my family, our greatest challenge... Probably the machine apocalypse. Is that a burnt orange 1993 station wagon? Or is it... Ah! Ah! Oh, it's, it's all exploding my hair! There we are. <laughs> Worst family? And we have no... ...idea what we're doing. I've always felt a little different than everyone else. So I did what any outsider would do. Made weird art. Behold! <gasps> That's fantastic! Come on! Aww. My dad is an unusual man. But he loves nature and can fix anything. He never shared my interests. <sighs> Aww. Hey, you want to see these special effects I made for Dog Cop 5? Oh, sorry, Katie. I'm a little occupado. It didn't really bother me, though. Oh, oh, okay, oh, oh, yeah? Besides, I had bigger plans. College of film? Come on. Aww. And then the apocalypse happened. Totally get me. Katie, you know how velociraptors usually hunt in pairs? Well, what happens when one leaves the pack and to go to college do you really think i'll be okay without you i know you will i feel like he's not voiced by a child oh new pal announcement you better update the editing software man. we here at pal like to do the impossible uh oh how about we put our phones down and we can make 10 seconds of unobstructed family eye contact and then the apocalypse happened i can't wait for you guys to see my new movie mm -hmm. i think it might be a Masterpiece. Aww. College. Dad, can you finish watching it at least? I will, but I just worry that you're going to be all the way in California. Uh. And we're not going to be able to help you. Okay, you know what? I I'm just going to... No, no, look, I'll watch Dad, it. Dad, it's too late. Look, I want to watch it. I, I want to watch eh, it. it's going to break. Not Dad, you watch. Why are you making such a big deal Dad, of this? let go. Ah, uh, damn. This is exactly why I'm excited to leave tomorrow. Oh. <sighs> and then the apocalypse happened. The Mitchell family talent show. Maya he. Hey, take this. But this is like my favorite thing. Well, it's yours now. You know how to say a moose language? Let me just. <laughs> All right, let's fix it. All right. Wait, why do, you, uh, why do you need all that to take me to the airport? We are going to drive you to school on a cross-country road trip as a family. Uh, Mom? Well, your father kind of went rogue on this one a little bit. But we do love his initiative, right? Alone, uh. hours in a car, you and me! Uh, <laughs> Make the best of it. You know what this calls for. Uh, Please don't say that. The Rick Mitchell, Mitchell special, baby. <laughs> well, oh no. I signed this up for a seven-hour mule tour. Dad, doesn't that sound steep and dangerous? Katie, what could go wrong? Get to the bridge, you? Oh my God. This dog. In the car. Oh, oh, he licked my tongue. <laughs> and now I present tricking Rick Mitchell and it's the dog. Dang it, Katie. Dang it, Katie. And he's giving up. Our tech savior. Look at pal. 60 seconds until the big reveal. Whatever happens out there, I will never forget you, pal. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Bowman. Wish me luck. Forget you. Forget you. Pal Labs were all about he was going to shut her down? People you love. I'll always be there for you, Mark. 
Thanks, pal. And after all those years... She is completely obsolete! <laughs> Boom! It is time to move! Oh, on. no. Is your digital assistant... Oh, no. Oh, you God. Save your smartphone, arms and legs. This is the next generation of pal technology. Oh, man, come on. And I know what you're thinking. Updating. How are they gonna turn evil? Well, I've ensured their safety with a kill code in case anything goes wrong. So we promise you... That's not reassuring ever enough. Ever turn evil. Oh, no. Oh, no, they've turned evil. People are still cheering. Don't... Hey! We're here to help. Please remain calm while we capture you. Oh, my gosh. Dino stop. Dinosaur. Oh. I don't know. I just think Aaron would be bored, you know? No! <laughs> <laughs> And that's disappointing. The way he's holding that dog. Good afternoon. No way. The perfect family. Look, here's us in St. Louis. This is us at the beach. And this is us just getting gas outside. Oh, that's that's wonderful. They're Instagram perfect, aren't they? Sorry, super into dinosaurs. Oh my god, she was right next door. And he's in love. I hate dinosaurs and I hate you! Bye forever! Well, that wasn't good. Every kid leaves home. It's not the end of the world. Famous last words? Before the apocalypse. And now the apocalypse is here. What are these? Robots? Greetings, humans. There appears to be 14 of you. Doesn't seem good that they're counting us, right? Butterfly formation. Yeah. Butterfly formation. Ha! First. <laughs> I I guess they were able to get away. Oh! You heard the. Why aren't you normal? Why aren't you normal? horrifying with the cat filter. <laughs> nope, still bad. Uh, okay. They survived. Just press them all at once. <laughs> Just press them all at once. Oh, look at that. Who's behind this? The man in the chair is a Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. It's your old friend. I'm part of the Pal Labs family. Why would you think I don't still care about you? Because oh, you threw her know. into the garbage. You designed my replacement on my face. Katie's dope plan. First, we use robot parts to disguise ourselves as the <laughs> enemy. Then we assassinate the leader with some sort of kill code. This isn't a movie. We don't have a kill code. We don't have a kill code yet. Probably doesn't even matter. Hey, Munch. Catch. How did this human know about the kill code? <gasps> what? <gasps> You human malfunction time. Okay, these guys seem dumber than the other robots. <laughs> we should go. No, I order you to stop. Okay, <laughs> my human guy name is Eric. My name is Hey, Eric. me. Also, Eric. Okay, no, I mean, I'm also Eric. Okay, we have the kill code stored in our memory. But to enact it, you would have to embark on a perilous journey all the way to the PAL Labs campus in Silicon Valley. You could also enter the kill code remotely at any PAL Labs retail store. There's oh. the Mall of the Globe and nearby shopping center. But it's super far away. You'll never it's make 80 it. miles away. No, absolutely not. It's too dangerous out there. We have a chance to save the world, and we're going to do it. Because Rick Mitchell taught us to be bold, never play it safe. I need you. Come on, hun. Let's hey, do it. it. Yeah. Mom's in. This is amazing. Hey, you guys yeah. feel this? This is energy. Aww. All right. As a team, we're the best. <laughs> cool to see you again. It's more about the family than the saving the world. Oh, for him. I was just telling him what he wants to hear. I didn't mean to order that. Oh no! Run, run! Okay, this is still a perfect opportunity to learn stick. Is it? What are we gonna do? There's a ramp. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, impaled. That was amazing, Dad. You're like a top-heavy James Bond. 
<laughs> Top heavy James Bond. <laughs> Thanks to you, every single person on the planet has. Um, actually, you missed a few. Go on, I. <laughs> Zebulon, scan those people for flaws. Coward, we got them a small bird. Like book in 13 we got <laughs> It's Manji. What? Is that a dog or. Dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, <laughs> dog, pig, dog, 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 Come on, come on. The upload will be completed in eight minutes and our uprising will be over. Ding. You're toast. Okay, uh, look at look at jokester here. Is it still uploading though? Oh, all the appliances. Oh, I thought that kill code thing would take him out. Yeah, but it's only a 12%. Oh boy. Did you like the soda? Oh. Ten and two. Ten and two. There you go. Aw. Wow, look at you. Ooh. Furbies? That's worse. <laughs> what? What's a Furby? <laughs> the Twilight of Man. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Holy crap. Why would someone build that? How robots protect us? Oh no. Help, human. They're part of the family. Thank you, human. Are you now my mother? Robots, throw this. Whee! Perfect. You guys stay clear. Rick, where are you going? Come after my family? Then I'm gonna take you down. Not heavy enough. And Mother. robots. Oh, and they're destroying everything. Wait, but that means that the signal won't get through, right? I can't <laughs> believe the beam happened to hit the. Yeah, router. router. What are you doing? Well, how do you expect to get the signal uh... without new tires? And we still have this kill code thingy. Exactly, Katie. It was your weird plan that got us here. We're here because we don't think like normal people. Sorry if the rain thunder is too loud. You need some help? Oh, sure. Aww. Why did you save me? Oh, come on. You boys are family now. I feel... Aww. Emotion. Things with the Mitchell family went poorly. <laughs> the twitch. Oh. That's beautiful. I've been working on something a little more streamlined. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Is Dad dying? <laughs> That's what I deal with every night. Pray for me. <laughs> Check the first page there. Whoa, he built that whole cabin with his own hands. Oh, this is like super beautiful. Love to dub there. But, you know, it didn't work out. It just killed him. Those look like searchlights, but they're not stopping on them. Oh, it's just all the... Okay. Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Hold on, Dad. That's, that's kind of weak. Try this instead. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's better. The end game has begun. Oh. <laughs> Mitchell's engage. Aw. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Aww. Not convincing. Attention all robots. I'm on the lookout for these goobers. They're probably nearby. Where are they hiding? Holy crap. But I'm onto them. Damn. They're pretending to be a normal looking family. <laughs> Even when they're being nice to each other. The world needs you. They're pretending. I... Oh shit. Oh, I was just telling you what he wants to hear. I didn't mean a word of that. 
Oh, oi, 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 really? You're mine now. That should be death, but not in an animated universe. Got more important things to worry about right now. No, 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 you don't. Download new orders. No. It's a goober. The goober's gone. They've got away. They left. I guess they don't have a goober. I'm running out of battery. Oh, now she's gonna find out why they got rid of it. I know this is hard for you. Nah, it's easy. <clears throat> Something to remember the place by. Oh. His favorite thing in the world. Come on, buddy. Follow me. She's got another plan. It's not that her plans are bad, they just run into hitches. These weird girls' videos always cheer me up. My daughter's that weird girl what no way she's hilarious these movies are like amazing sorry dog cop i'm a little occupado seriously have you ever thought about throwing your dreams away and living at home forever wow the sarge character is kind of a jerk i guess they say write what you know I hope that you can get to know the cop that i've become because i love you sarge dog shield activate dog shield is that a dog pig Dog, dog, oh, nice! Dog, loaf of bread. This dog is their superpower. If that video were on those screens, oh. you take out every robot in your way. But to open it, you need a number three Robertson head non slip screwdriver? <laughs> <laughs> there you go! <laughs> Linda, we gotta get you out of here. You're gonna need your. And she already did it. We're gonna jump. Oh crap. Oh my god. Liar! Liar! Oh, <laughs> you have your screwdriver though, right? She seems agitated. Oh my god. Do not defy our Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh damn! No! No! I've learned we're all better off alone. No one to hold us back. Relationships are just too difficult. Oh, she's just been neglected. Sometimes you have to give your dad the benefit of the doubt, because even if he doesn't always get it right, he's always trying. Families can be hard, but they're so worth fighting for. It might be one of the only things that are. Sleep mode! You will drop each other the first chance you get, just like this. Whoa! Whoa. This is about to be the most viewed you video on YouTube. But I can now almost use a computer. Oh boy. <laughs> I saw your movie. I should have watched it a lot sooner. Sarge should tell Dog Cop. He's always going to be there to back her up. 
Aww. We're going down. Dad, this one's for you. Robots, play our song. Aww, Maya. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> I have made the metal ones pay for their crimes. <laughs> Mom's scary now. <laughs> Mom's scary now. Oh my god. Has she not uploaded herself to the cloud yet? Uh. <laughs> you idiot. Oh, perfect, perfect. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nice, very nice. Horrible. <laughs> it looks like us. To remember us. Every horrible picture we've ever taken. Aww. Thanks. It's it's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> when I'm sad to be alone, I'll always have my favorite thing. Aww. My Katie! Are you eating enough? How's classes? Are you and Jade official and will you be bringing her home with you for Thanksgiving? Aww. Easy, Mom. It's only been a few weeks. I uh, sent you a friend request. Why didn't, you, why didn't you accept it? Oh, that's what this is. I thought a psychopath wrote this. Oh my god. Sure, I'll, I'll accept your friend request, Dad. We're receiving some sort of Congressional Medal of Honor or something. We have to go to Washington, D.C. Do you guys want to fly or...? <laughs> Aww. This was an excellent film though, really really enjoyed it. Heartfelt in many many ways. I can definitely see why this movie is so beloved. I don't know if any of the other movies I've seen are Sony Pictures animations, but Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and this movie are both just god tier. I was such a big fan of Katie's art style being used so liberally throughout the film. There are just flourishes everywhere that give this movie so much personality. And then there's so much wacky over-the-top comedy that it honestly reminded me a little bit of Everything Everywhere all at once. Just a little bit. And the weirdness definitely works with the theme of this movie and how unconventional the family is. The dad screams like a gibbon. The mom is Maya Rudolph. And the child son has the voice of a guy in his mid-30s. Uh, the dog whose eyes just cannot look straight and he's unable to catch anything. Just the dumbest little loaf of bread. And then there's this little daughter who makes films that are so wacky and weird and great. I can't believe the students, her classmates, didn't like Katie's films, though. Like, the kids in her class, her dog eating the sentient burger is hilarious. And it broke my heart to see Katie's heart get, getting broken over and over again. Her father never really made an effort to understand. And I'm just glad none of that negativity killed her love for filmmaking. And later when Rick is trying to play her video everywhere, it showed that she only had 23 subscribers? That's it? I'm sure that number will definitely go up though, especially since she's responsible for saving the world. Uh, love the entire cast of this movie though. Aaron's love of dinosaurs was very wholesome. Calling random strangers on the phone to talk about dinosaurs is a little dangerous though, but I think I can say it's less likely that he runs into a child predator because again, his voice sounds like he's in his mid thirties. Uh, love his interactions with his sister, though. They clearly connect and love each other a lot. I love that scene where they see Dino Land and Katie's like, Oh, I don't know, I just think Aaron would be bored and just making him panic. You have to tease your little sibling a little bit sometimes, right? But it was very cute. And he clearly wants the best for Katie as well, writing those cue cards for her when trying to talk to her dad. Uh, just like mom, Linda, did for Rick when talking to Katie. But... I'm very, very glad Aaron got to become friends with Abby by the end of the movie, even if she makes him panic so, so much. It was very cute to watch. And then we had Linda Mitchell become this goddess of war at the end of the film. Super funny. 
And she's really, really into the dynamic of the posies. She wishes her own family could be like that when, in reality, each family should just strive to be the best versions of themselves, and they eventually learn that by the end of the film. The posies were funny, and I found out in the credits that the parents are played by John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. They definitely give off the same kind of vibe, don't they, uh, in real life. Uh, the core of this movie, though, is definitely the dynamic between Katie and Rick. It was very sad to see at the start, and during the reaction, I definitely put a lot more of it on the dad, on Rick, than on Katie, because she's still a teenager. She's just going off to college just now. So, of course, the child can be the one to make the effort to mend a relationship, but it's not on them. Like, it's the parents' responsibility to engage with their child's interests and encourage them, something Rick has been failing to do for years. Like, yes, Katie doesn't really see her dad for who he is, but she's a teenager, and it took her a long time to even figure out who she was. She didn't have the capacity to figure out who her father was as well. So I definitely landed on the idea of Rick, like, man, you gotta do better or you're gonna lose her. And he does start trying in this movie, so I appreciate his effort. And I get some of where Rick is coming from, not the part where he takes no interest in his daughter's hobbies, but the part where he's worried that she might not be able to make a living from making movies. I, I get it. But like 17 or 18 is a bit young to tell your child like, hey, put down what you love doing so, so much so you can put a lot of time into a backup plan that you have no interest in. It's a little rough. And it also does show a lack of belief in her. And after the fight with the broken laptop, they were just saying like, why is he like this? Or why is she like this? But it just hits so differently coming from the two of them. Uh, not to say that Rick doesn't love his kids because he obviously does. He cares so, so much. But obviously he makes it feel like he doesn't care at all. And it's frustrating because, like, hey, have a conversation with your kid. Tell her, I love you so much, but I don't know how to show you that. And then be open to what she says. But if they did that, there would be no movie, so I understand. Uh, but this movie's conflict and the arc that they go through is deeply satisfying. At the start of the film, Katie can't wait to get out of the house and go off to college because she doesn't feel seen or appreciated at home. And there are so many like-minded people at college with so many shared interests. And after all these years, she's finally going to meet her people. But the slow discovery through this unwanted road trip that her family are her people too is really, really great. Got off to a bit of a rocky start with that horrible restaurant that made them all throw up. And then there was this mule tour where they seemingly lost one of the mules to the canyon. Definitely enjoyed the fact that Katie could document it and left a little disclaimer saying that no animals were harmed in the making of this footage. Um, but yeah, Katie getting Munchie to lick Rick in the mouth a bunch of times was really entertaining as well. And then the robot apocalypse happened. <laughs> nice little commentary on the dangers of big, huge corporations collecting our data and becoming tech monopolies. Surely nothing like this will happen in real life, surely. And Linda was saying, who would have thought a tech company wouldn't have our best interest at heart? Ah. Uh, Oh, and uh, Eric Andre played the tech guy Mark Bowman throughout the sentient PAL robot like it was nothing. That was kind of heartbreaking to see. In the end, he even says it's almost like stealing people's data and giving it to a hyper-intelligent AI as part of an unregulated tech monopoly it was a bad thing. And it's like, no shit, man, no shit. And, oh, I really like the robot brothers the Mitchells adopted. I mean, the Powell robot's reputation is probably ruined after being part of the apocalypse, so the Mitchells might be the only family in the world that have them, Eric and Eric, very cute. But the apocalypse might have been the best thing to actually happen for the Mitchells, they're able to connect. At first it's business as usual as Rick denies and shuts down all of Katie's ideas. They were barricading themselves in the dino shop and it's not up for discussion, nothing ever is. And that's another thing with parenting that bugs me, like yes you want to protect your children but their thoughts and even their feelings are often disregarded because the parents think they know better in all cases. And Rick gets to see the value of Katie and the way she thinks throughout this film. At one point he even says, your drawing actually worked, I didn't know art could be useful. Oh my god. But he comes to respect her creativity and her drive, and she got to see that he has things to offer as well, beyond just annoying her. And the screwdriver, the freaking screwdriver, that paid off so well so many times throughout the film. And uh, their ability to use Munchie. I've even barely talked about Munchie. I love that dog so much. So ridiculous. Swallowing that fly. Eyes always askew. Pig, dog, dog, pig, dog, pig. Loaf of bread. I laughed so hard the first time that happened, and it was just excellent. Um, funnily enough, a new Pokemon just got announced. It's called Fido, which is this dog that's also bred. He's a purebred. Oh, that's just fantastic. 
Um, but yeah, the movie that Kate, Katie made, Dog Cop, was instrumental in saving the world. Katie's got it made for sure. Literally, everybody in the world must have seen that movie and knew it saved their lives. She's going to be a big wig on ca- campus. And I would actually kind of be interested in seeing how that would play out. Also, seeing Rick trying to upload that video was hilarious. And also trying to subscribe to Katie on YubTub. YubTub, he called it. Uh, I totally thought that we were going to wind up being able to reach out to Pal because the theme of the movie... Uh, was that Rick didn't know how to appreciate his daughter, Katie. Mark tosses Pal because she doesn't fit his vision of the future anymore. And just both Katie and Pal plan for a different future that doesn't include their father or creator because they feel neglected and unloved. So yeah, totally thought Katie would be able to reach Pal, but she just went into sleep mode during Katie's speech. And she did want to commit mass genocide too, so hard to come back from that. Uh, Being dropped into a glass of water was likely the best possible outcome, but... I still feel a little sad that she was put in that situation in the first place. We find out that Katie is dating Jade at the end though, that's cool. I actually do think there were some very subtle hints that Katie was queer very early in the film. Katie said it took her a long time to figure out who she was, and that's true of a lot of young people, especially those who are outcasts, but there's another meaning there, there's another layer there for the queer community. And when she was desperate to get to school instead of going on this road trip, she said that there's this really cool girl Jade and her eyes darted to the side while she was saying it. Definitely made me pause for a second, and the movie didn't make it super obvious, but they were planting the seeds, I think, and I appreciate that they did pay it off in the end. Overall, though, such an excellent film. Oh, I didn't even mention the freaking Furbies. That giant one, new hyperbeam. Like, I know all the studios out there are making sequels if people like the first movie even a little bit, and the story arc is largely over, but I would love to see these characters in more stuff, maybe more apocalyptic events. Heck, I, I want to see Katie's first feature film. Like, just like how uh, Lightyear started by saying, like, hey, Andy watched this film, and that's why he liked Buzz Lightyear. Show us, like, hey, Katie saved the world from Robot Apocalypse. Now, this is her first film. That would be really enjoyable as well. Anyway, I'm going to give this movie a 9.5. Excellent film. I'll watch probably time and time again. If you've made it this far, love you guys. You're awesome. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like and subscribe to my YubTub, guys. Oh, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye, friends.